Hello, welcome to Stone Magpie for an unboxing today, the second in the series of the Forgotten Paintings. Yes, if you've not seen the first video, I did forget about three diamond paintings that I purchased from Diamond Art Club. What I tend to do is buy two kits at a time to get the free shipping. So it's usually a must have and then one from my wish list. And these three paintings were all from my wish list. I got them, unboxed the must have and then put these away and I forgot about them until I went into my stash recently. Absolutely terrible not sharing these with you until now. <laughs> so today's painting is a square diamond painting and it's called The Edge of Enchantment by Meredith Dillman and look at that design absolutely glorious and we're going to share this one today and have a look at all the detail. Out the diamond painting. Oh, it's a big one, this one. This one is a 70 by 87 centimetre diamond painting. Here is the little sticker that I am going to put in my logbook as soon as this video is over because I don't want to forget about what diamond paintings I have in my stash. So I use this little sticker for my logbook. Some people do pop it on the box if they're going to store the diamond painting away so they can see what is in the box really easily. The toolkit we have today, let's see what we've got. Everything's out, ooh, now then. I have got a translucent diamond painting tray and I love these. I use mine all of the time. You might be able to see that there's glitter within the diamond painting tray. As I say, I bought this a while ago, so I'm not sure that they're producing the translucent ones anymore because I've not had one for a while. So I'm thrilled I've got another one. There will be a stopper that you pop into the end of the tray if you want to, to stop the diamonds falling out as your diamond paint. I tend to just hold my finger over the end. We've got a pink standard diamond painting pen with a pink squidgy to match. And that pushes onto the diamond painting pen, push it up to where you hold the pen and then it adds comfort while you're diamond painting. We get our two multi-placers, a four-placer and a seven-placer. We get two slabs of pink wax in a heart shape. Keep it in the caddy and pop the lid on to keep them fresh. A pair of needle nose tweezers. Pull the guard off, it opens them out. They are quite sharp. Pop the plastic end on to keep those together. And I use tweezers for all sorts of things, not necessarily to place diamonds, but if you see my videos regularly, you may well see me using this at times. A pack of spare baggies, usually about 25 or so in a pack. Really useful if you don't want to put your diamonds in storage, you can use these, or if you want to store your spares, good for those too. The protective cover minder that I've got today is a beautiful orange rose flower. Really nice. Two magnets on the back which you slide apart. Pop one on the protective cover that you fold down, the other one underneath the canvas and it will hold your protective cover in place while you diamond paint. Really pretty rose, that one. A really lovely colour too. And some washi tape. Ooh, this is a pretty one today with pink floral details. Let's find the end. There it is. Oh, really 
sweet. It's kind of um, oriental, I think, this design with the pink background, dark pink flowers and that lime green and then gold floral details on the background. Really sweet. Good to use in other crafting if you don't use them on your diamond paintings like me. Okay, and let's open the diamond painting and see what this picture is all about. So here is the top. It is a big picture, so I'm hoping to get a good view of this on camera. If not, I'll have to change the angle because it is a big one. Wow, faced with pinks and purples at the top of this diamond painting. Look at this. Oh, how lovely. Starting in the top half, we've got the canopy of leaves from the tree down the right hand side and it's swooping down to the left, really encompassing her within the leaves, creating an archway. The Edge of Enchantment is the name of this diamond painting. And as we move it down, you can see the tree, the bottom of the tree with the roots going along. She sat perched on a branch, keeping her well protected there. And all of these beautiful details down the bottom. We've got little mushroom woodland details and where the bough comes down from the tree and then goes back into the earth. Then we've got floral details on the left. Really delightful colours in this one. Pinks, purples, blues and reds tend to be coming to the fore for me. She's wearing this beautiful gown. It's like a silk flowing gown with like a Chinese design, an oriental design printed onto those silks with a bodice and then a flowing sleeve down there. Then all of these butterflies fluttering up the right hand side. And she's got pink and orange wings behind with flowers in her long flowing brown hair. The edge of enchantment. It's an enchanted tree with the big canopy of leaves already mentioned that really do frame the diamond painting at the top. Absolutely gorgeous. Now looking at the design, we have got quite a bit of colour blocking down the left hand side. We've got, it's like lines. If you, if you look at this design here, you'll see all of the different lines within the design to follow and then colour blocked areas as well. More confetti heavy within the gown itself with all of that patterning detail on it. The butterflies creating detail up the side of the tree there. But again, then more color blocking in lines up the tree and it, within that leaf detail. If you look closely at that, you can see that the leaves form a line pattern down. Her face detail there with that suggestion of a nose and mouth, and then that bare shoulder with the blending to create the skin tone. Her little bare feet pointing down towards the bottom with those toes touching the bow as she sat perched there. The edge of her wings from behind the bow just protruding out of the bottom there. What wonderful colours in this kit. Let's have a look at the diamonds now because looking at the legend down the side, we have got four ABs in this kit. 
and then we've got the mix of symbols and numbers and letters and there are 51 colours in this kit. As usual, we get a thank you leaflet with step-by-step -step instructions in. So it, if, if it is your first kit, this is a very helpful guide to begin with, with tips and tricks. There is a scan code for a step-by-step -step video if you prefer to watch a video. And there is the scan code for the VIP Facebook group too. So a handy little leaflet for beginners. We then get a larger sticker on the sticker sheet here with all of the details of the diamond painting and a really beautiful image of the original artwork there. Just look at all of the tree details in that bark coming along and down into the ground, which is perched there. The Edge of Enchantment by Meredith Dillman and on this sticker you could use in your logbook it does have a start date and an end date it's a square diamond painting 70 by 87 and there is the SKU code there as well for your reference on the right hand side of the sticker sheet we've got our pre-cut stickers ready to stick onto our storage with all of the different coloured symbols and the DMC code too and that is for if you want to store your spares or if you have a problem with your diamonds, you can let Diamond Art Club know the number that you need as it's all there on the sticker sheet. The diamonds themselves have the title on the sticker there. In case you want to store your canvas away from your diamonds, you will know which diamonds relate to which canvas. Wow, just look at that. Wow, and what a bundle of diamonds, especially for a diamond painting this size. Absolutely fabulous colours and we will quickly run through those now, starting with the biggest packs. Yeah. So we've got a beautiful red terracotta colour, a pinky, subtle pinky brown. Then we go into the purples, a lovely baby pink, an antique pink, peaches, a lovely lilac AB. Then we've got more oranges and blues. A red AB, denim blue, cream, purple, a deeper peach, a lighter peach, a paler denim blue, white AB, then we've got a purple with lots of different friends in those. <laughs> a soft yellow, a brighter purple, a brown, a bright red, a bright orange. Three packs of 310. An antiqued pink, peach again. A terracotta, bright orange, and a paler blue. Mid pink, bright pink, an orange tan, brown, cream, blues, an AB blue. Different peaches, lots of different peaches in this one. A bright neon orange, tan, blue, pink, another tan, and greens, and a small brown to finish. Really, really lovely colours, lots of brights, much more bright than I thought, which is really nice surprise. I'm going to cut off the ABs and we'll find out where they sit. So here are our four ABs, 
and we'll start with the number one symbol which is the red. I'm expecting it to be in a gown but I'm waiting to be surprised. Let's find out. So starting up right at the top we've got the reds within the wings so lines of red ABs in the wings in the flowers in her hair and then as I thought in the gown itself in little areas throughout the gown and the bodice and the skirt little touches and then in this detail here which when you look at the sticker sheet it's like a leaf detail coming down from behind and they have some of those red ABs in too. The number two is this really pretty lilac colour. So looking for the two symbol. So this seems to be more in the tree. So we've got some on the bough where she's sat. We've got some coming down the side of the tree and into the bottom here. Lots of twos there. And from the detail that's coming from behind the tree here with these leaves. So lots of that colour within the ground and the tree. Number three is this deep purple blue. Let's find out where they go. Okay, so we've got some of them in the floral detail here. We've got some in the bottom of her gown here. Then we've got butterflies with the number three within, as well as touches on her bodice of that too. And the last AB is the white symbol number four. And already I can see lots in the bow coming down here and in the detail of the tree roots there. We've got some here on that part of the branch too. Then moving up the tree all the way up the bow. Then we have got some speckles of number four there and in her eyes and in the tree leaves themselves. You may be able to pick out the little dots of the number four symbol sprinkled throughout the canopy of the tree as well. Wow, that is so pretty. So the bodice, and so we've got the blue and the red in the bodice of the dress. We've got the whites speckled and then running down the bough of the tree. And we've got this beautiful lilac also running down the side of the tree. So that is so pretty that you've got both sides. We've got the, the lilac and the white this side and the hot red and blue down the bodice and picked out in the butterflies in the side as well as in her wings and then the canopy of trees having that twinkle within too. <gasps> oh, she is just lovely and even the background if you look down here it's not just one solid colour blocking it is a blend of really lovely pastels I think that's where a lot of those peaches are going to sit if you look at the painting we've got the yellows and the peaches running down the side there are a lot of colours in there. So a really nice blend of pastel colours coming down the left hand side there with the brights in the middle and then that canopy of pink and golden leaves at the top. <gasps> Just beautiful! What a magical picture. I hope that you like it too. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you've enjoyed having a closer look at this diamond painting with me. I do hope that you consider subscribing. It's always appreciated and it's lovely to have you here with me to share this amazing craft. Please do take care of yourselves, keep on sparkling and enjoying your own diamond painting. Until next time, take care. Bye.